there's there's all kinds of people watching this that are long Bitcoin and there's nobody that's short and nobody nobody wants their windpipe stepped on. I don't blame them. I don't like people to step on my windpipe. But I would say this. If the people in this room uh, owned all of the farmland in the United States um, and you offered me a 1% interest in it, pay our group, pay us this bargain price, $25 billion. I'll write you a check this afternoon. $25 billion, now I own 1% of the farmland. If you tell me you own... 1% of the apartment houses in the United States, and you want another $25 billion or something, I'll write you a check. You know, it's very simple. Now, if you told me you owned all of the Bitcoin in the world, and you offered it to me for $25, I wouldn't take it because what would I do with it? Um, I have to sell it back to you one way or another. It isn't going to do anything. The apartments are going to produce rental and and the farms are going to produce food. That explains the difference between productive assets and something that depends on the next guy paying you more than the last guy got. This is the only thing that's money. And anybody that thinks the United States is going to change to the where they let Berkshire money replace theirs, you know, it's out of their mind. Whether it goes up or down in the next year or five years, ten years, I don't know. But the one thing I'm pretty sure of is that it, it doesn't it doesn't multiply, it doesn't produce anything. It's it's uh, it's got a magic to it, and people have attached magics to lots of things.